This is Return to Tennis. I'm your host. Thanks for returning. We got something new. Something from the land down under. Uh, we're going to get out and hit it today. Let's talk about it a little bit first. I've hit it a little bit already. This is the Hasel Tour 98. H-E-Y-S-I-L. Hasel Tour 98. Um, I've hit it some. I've been hitting it around a little bit, trying it out. Very solid frame. Kind of reminds me of some of the frames you'd see back in maybe the late 90s, early 2000s. Um, has a good feel. It is the 98 Tour from Hazel. It comes, if you order one from them, I mean, it's a pretty good price on the product. It comes strung with their Tour Poly Blue. It comes with an extra overgrip. This is the original grip. It comes with an overgrip that matches. And it comes with the dampener, all at one price. They'll string it however you want it as far as tension. Uh, they will offer some customization. This frame stock, unstrung, is 300 grams. It's a little light for me. I asked them, I said, hey, can you guys make it 315 grams unstrung and maintain the balance? I wanted it about eight points headlight. Uh, they did a pretty good job of that. I mean, it's it's definitely more headlight. Uh, the way they managed to increase the weight, though, is through lead. You can see it here. They put lead at 3 and 9 through the hoop. There's probably some lead under the handle. It's a very solid frame. Feels great out on the court. Um, I'm going to talk about it a little bit more when I'm hitting it so you guys can kind of get an idea of what I'm looking at. But I do have some reservations about it. One of them being no trap door. Uh, if I wanted to customize this frame myself, there's no trap door in the handle. I can't make any adjustments in the handle weight unless I put lead under the grip, which might be what they did to maintain the balance because they added a lot of lead on the hoop that would have really messed the balance up. I said I wanted to keep it at about that eight point headlight balance. So there's probably some lead under this grip. I love the aesthetics. I'm kind of a minimalist. Um, blacked out frame. It's basically a blacked out frame. It's kind of like what you would see pros playing with when they're testing something. They don't anybody know what they're hitting yet. Um, it says, you know, in the hoop, mid plus 98 square inch. And inside the throat here, it says, Hazel engineered in, there it is, engineered in Australia. And it has some of the specs of the racket here uh, that it's strung at 54 pounds. It's an 18 by 20, has the recommended string tension on there. But other than that, and like the little Hazel logo here at the bottom of the handle, or I'm sorry, at the top of the pallet, it's a blacked out frame. I mean, it's nice. These frames are produced in Taiwan. Uh, Hazel feels that the quality control in Taiwan is superior to China. I don't blame them. I mean, a lot of the big racket manufacturers like Head, Wilson, Bobalot, they're having their stuff mass produced in China. And we know what the margins for error there are. They're pretty bad. Um... Not to say that the margins for error in Taiwan are massively better, but Hazel feels that they are significantly better. And they make sure that these weights, uh, these rackets get weighted out to come in at spec. We're going to get out. We're going to hit it on camera for you. We're going to give us some more thoughts on the Hazel uh, racket. But uh, it feels solid. I've hit it a few times. It's, it's a decent frame, but we're going to talk more about that when we get out there. It reminds me of something else. So let's get on the courts. All right, guys, here we go. This is the Hazel Tour 98 out of Australia. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I hit really badly today. Uh, just couldn't seem to find my timing very well. I shank and overhit a lot of these balls. I just was late. But that's not the point. The point is, how does the frame feel? Uh, this is probably my third or fourth time hitting the frame. I've had it out on several occasions, giving it a go. Um, it 
kind of reminds me of a diadem tour elevate not the new one not the the elevate fs that has the flex stabilization system in it the previous elevate which didn't have that technology in it um Unfortunately, what the way it reminds me of that is it doesn't really dampen shock very well compared to some of the other frames. It's not as comfortable as the Angels or the Technofiber or the Pacific. It's not even as comfortable as the Selenko. It really reminded me of the Diadem. Um, it just did not handle mishits very well. I felt a fair amount of shock out of it. Uh, it's an alright frame. It's a solid frame. Very much more like one of those older style, like 90s, early 2000s kind of rackets. Not a lot of fancy technologies in it. As a matter of fact, there are no technologies in it. Which uh, is why I think I get the kind of vibration feel that I get out of it off of mishits. It's still a very solid racket. I mean, it's very maneuverable. It's stable. It doesn't twist in my hand if I miss hit too badly. Uh, but that might be due to the weight that's been added to the frame as well. I mean, it's a lot heavier than what it should be. Uh, it is more head light than the diadem. I can say that. The diadem weighs in with strings and everything at about 334 grams. This one's weighing in just heavier, a little bit heavier than that at 337. But in my hand, it feels a lot lighter than the diadem. And I think that's due to the balance. Um, the diadem is... I think four points headlight when it's strung. And this is sitting probably around six or seven points headlight. It just feels more maneuverable. It's easier to get the racket around. And more of the weight in the handle is a little more comfortable for me. Now, some players, you as a player, you might like your rackets more head heavy. Uh, so in which case, this might not be a good fit for you. It is a solid frame. I mean, it's I like it. it do I like it well enough to play it? And competition no no i don't like it that well i probably will occasionally pull this out as a as a frame that i warm up with and i hit some with for fun um but it's not overly impressive it's good for what it is it's very solid um i had some reservations about the quality of the paint uh, i found a chip on the frame already I haven't dropped this racket. I haven't hit it in the ground trying to pick up a low ball. Uh, but it has a chip just on the outside of the throat, uh, on the exterior throat beam. It's very small. Um, the only thing I can think of is I had it propped up against the net. It fell over, and when it fell, it, it chipped. Now, that'd be pretty standard for most rackets. They fall over on the, on the hard courts. They chip a little bit. But this one was actually in a protective bag that I bought as an add-on item from Hazel. It's a cloth bag uh, designed to cover the rack. It's a really nice bag, by the way. I really like that option to have it. Um, so it was in the bag when it fell. And, you know, it just fell over from being propped up against the net. So it maybe managed to chip itself while it was inside the protective bag, which doesn't speak well of the quality of the paint. But the overall aesthetic with the paint, I do like. I like that blacked out look. It's all matte, not shiny. Very much looks like a kind of top secret player's racket. So I, I do like it. Overall, it's a good product. Um, like I said, very, very similar to the Diadem Elevate Tour. Like the 2018 model is what I'm talking about. The, one of the first uh, editions that came out before the flex stabilization technologies. And it plays very similarly but in the sense if I hit it clean, it feels amazing. It feels really great. If I don't hit it clean, um, I know about it pretty quickly in my elbow. Now, that being said, there is a, a takeaway from there that's a kind of a good thing is that the racket does provide a lot of feedback. Since it doesn't have um, a bunch of technologies in the, in the frame itself or technologies designed to dampen feel or vibration you can really get a lot of good feedback out of this racket you will know where you're catching the ball am i catching it center am i catching it left right little high little low 
you will know fairly quickly. This racket will help you dial in your sweet spot. But overall, it was it was a decent racket. I enjoyed it. The string in it's that their blue poly tour, which is one of that is their string. They only have two strings. That's one of them. Not a bad string at all. Uh, but it's a decent racket. But that's all I got for you guys. I do have another racket review in the works. I'm waiting on it to arrive. Um, that will most likely be our last review of the year. I can't think of any other racket that is out there right now or that is rumored to be coming this year that I'm interested in testing out. So thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed watching me shank these balls so badly. And, uh, we will return you to your regularly scheduled programming.